the Atlas Adventure. That's their biggest pack. It's uh, 70 liters total. Um, I believe 20 liters are dedicated to the built-in photography piece. Um, and the rest of it, as you can see, is a pretty sleek multi-day backpack, um, which is what I've been looking for. So... Um, I've only got a few hours on this and I haven't done any overnight trips, but with all my camera gear and rain gear and stuff, incredibly comfortable. Um, I do use the Low Pro AW450, which I think is Low Pro's um, larger pack, and uh, it's worked excellent for me. It survived Scotland in the rain and the mud and the bogs and everything. Uh, great pack, not super comfortable. Um, and doesn't really afford you any 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 uh, additional gear carrying space. Um, you can strap stuff on the outside of it, but uh, it's ne never really ideal. Um, yep, I've seen people get tents in the in these packs on their reviews. That's a Nemo two man tent. That's fairly small and fairly light, um, but that's. It's a pretty robust tent. I don't really go in for the single wall boobies and things. I, I just don't rest well on them. So I'd rather have the pain of a couple extra pounds of carrying uh, to have a proper tent. But uh, anyway, I wanted to show you what I was able to fit in here um, in anticipation of some good hiking trips this summer. Um, very well constructed. All the zippers, everything I've um, played with so far has been great. The uh, shoulder harness and waist belt, fantastic. Um, you got multiple, multiple stretchy pockets. I mean, you can't put a huge amount of stuff in here. You know, my, my hand is reasonably tight. I can probably get two hand di hands deep in there. Um, but it is big. Uh, so if you wanted to put like a small, thin rain jacket or something in there, you easily could. This is the uh, pocket I've seen most people use for rain gear. Um, and rain gear I always want accessible. So um, rain pants. Uh, I'd have a rain jacket just on top of that. There's plenty of room. T-shirt. Long johns. Undies. And I, I set this up for basically three days. Three nights. Um... Another large compartment. This has a um, sleeve for up to a 15 inch laptop, but I'm not going to bring a laptop backpack in. Um, I don't know if there's a way to get that out. I haven't really investigated too hard, but uh, worst comes to the worst, it's extra padding, you know. Um, you have a nice big stretchy pocket on this side. That's where I would normally have my tripod. I also have an integrated carrying handle because this will break down um, to carry on size if you if you choose to fly with it. You have another little pocket up here, little key holder, all your bits and bobs. A couple of loops up here for carrying poles or whatever you want to carry. Another mesh area. Um, put cards in there, put whatever you wanted really. zipper I was looking for. So, that's six servings of rice. Along with five full meals. It'll be plenty for me. Um, a lot of times when I'm backpacking I'll um, do oatmeal for breakfast. And I'll just bring uh, either dry steel cut or um, just rolled oats. And I'll just have them raw in a Ziploc. Put some uh, water in the night before. 
um, by morning it's ready to go. Uh, I usually put cinnamon and nutmeg and raisins and stuff in there. Works pretty well if you're okay eating cold porridge. You could always warm it up. Uh, sleeping bag. My big sumo jet boil. I like the, the bigger ones. That way I'll kind of do my... Uh, Apart from doing uh, water, water filtration and purification, um, I'll always do extra and just boil extra water so I can do laundry. Uh, that is a bag you can carry water with, or it's an inflator for my sleeping pad, which I use Exped. Um, it's uh, inflatable, but it also has. Um, a certain amount of down inside the pad itself so it's actually really warm um, and really comfortable uh, so I got a couple more t-shirts what else do I got in there as you can see I'm 5'11 about 180 uh, and I can get my it takes the whole length of my arm sorry okay my tent Another stretchy pocket over there if you would prefer if you have a smaller tent or a bivvy that fits inside. So looking down, uh, you can't really see. You'll see there's like a little floor there. And that's the top of the origami uh, pack. And there's basically a big sleeve where my arm is going in front of that. So you can very carefully pack down there. Actually... What I just noticed is the um, camera part, there's actually a whole other section down here that I didn't even see before. So I might, might be able to repack that much more efficiently. But anyway, part of most of us are interested in is their entry. Now this is a uh, side entry. Their athlete model uh, folds out forwards, um, like more traditional, um, more traditionally designed camera bags. But this one has this whole section built in. So I've got a D810 with a 2.8 24/70 on, and a crap load of filters, and I'm using them less and less, so they may may go. Uh, I got my trigger release, my L bracket. Uh, what's that? That's uh, like a 12 to 24 28. Oh no, that's uh, my Takina. That's the 11 to 16 ATX Pro from Takina. It's actually, for the price, that's actually a really good little lens. Uh, my Tamron 70-200-2.8 and a couple of ring adapters for the uh, for the filters. And you have a big sleeve here. Um, anything flat you need to keep organized. Anything for really small stuff. You have batteries up here. Um, this came with a lot more dividers. Um, Basically, I think it was two of these floors, or three of these floors, and then three, three, three. So I think you get nine of the little ones, three of the big ones. These do bend and kind of mold, I've heard. This is too new to show you that, but take that down. See this little pull back here? Just yank that down. And then, when you look in there again, oops you have much more space. <laughs> so if you wanted to carry a little bit less camera gear and more kind of camping gear, you certainly could. Um, you could easily get... <sighs> yeah, without the filters, you could easily get a 2470 or 7200, uh, maybe something smaller and just your essentials. Um, if you would carry that much gear for a multi-day uh, trip. Um, so we'll see. I'm really excited to uh, get out and try this. Uh, I was hoping to do that actually this week. But we had a winter storm come through Colorado. And 
some places got 20 inches. We got a rock slide on I-70, so people trying to get back to Denver can't really get there unless they go all the way up. Um, so we'll give a few more days uh, for the weather to settle down, and then hopefully I can give you a report on uh, how this performed and how I enjoyed it. And this is Derek Olson from DJOP Photos, and uh, thanks very much for watching.